Google just launched one of the tiniest Gemma model, a 270 million parameter, not billion parameter model that you can run on your computer. In fact, you can run on your phone just like on the screen. So this is a new model that is ideally designed for better fine tuning. So you can use this model and then fine tune on things that you want. This is supposed to be a hyper efficient model. That means that even when they tested it on Pixel 9 Pro, this model took only less than 1% of battery for 25 conversation. So that is a really power efficient Gemma model that you can run a local. So in this video, we're going to discuss everything about Gemma 3 270 million parameter model. And we are also going to run the model on Olama. I'm not going to go dive deeper into the benchmark because when I tested the model, the model looked pretty average. But again, the problem right now is our brain is so occupied with the GPT fives of the world, Claude four opus of the world. So when you have a 270 million parameter model, my unconscious bias might strike in and then say the model is not really good. So I don't see a point in discussing a lot of benchmarks. But if you were to see one thing that Google has mentioned here, you can see Gemma 270 million parameter model is somewhere here in terms of model size but it is doing better than you know like le like the other um, models in this particular family you can see uh, even better than the 500 million parameter model from quen 2.5 i mean i have a good opinion about quen all the time so i'm not going to take the benchmark as it is but the main thing here is that this is this is a model that should be appreciated for a variety of reasons first of all the model comes with 270 million parameters and the model itself comes with 256,000 tokens. Uh, so there is a large vocabulary. That means the model can do a lot of things. The large vocabulary also enables you to do fine tuning. When you do fine tuning, the base knowledge is within the model. So that means the model, uh, it becomes a good candidate for you to do a lot of fine tuning, both on domains and also languages. They've also released an instruction tuned model. So that means that uh, you can use this model to invoke a certain instruction following task. So the model is not designed for complex conversation, obviously 270 million parameter model, but the model knows to follow instructions right out of the box. I think for me, the main thing here is that the model can run on your devices like pocket devices, Android devices. And uh, there are like a certain easy ways for you to run the model within your smartphone, like especially Android phones locally without uh, sweating. And the model seems to be running good. Maybe not like the highest accurate chat GPT level knowledge, but the model works like that's the first step I would say. In short, the model has been designed for task specific fine tuning and a strong instruction following and text structuring capabilities are already trained and it's part of the pre-trained base model in itself. If you ask me when I should use the Gemma 3 270 million parameter model, I would say like the first thing that should come to your mind is do you have a scenario where you are on an edge device or some kind of a compute crunch, then this is one of the models that you should turn to and then start using the model. So for example, you've got a bunch of Raspberry Pi clusters. So you want to run this model for a very simple task in a, in a closed network, then you can easily use this model. So whenever you want to respect privacy, whenever you want to have a specific task uh, related fleet of models, then you can have the fine tuned model, run it on like Raspberry Pi, run it on um, different edge devices. So this model is extremely, extremely useful for it. The other case is like if you have something where the task is very well defined, very well structured, like for example, writing a story or uh, some kind of text processing, like summarization, um, give me a tweet, that sort of thing. I think that is also a place where you can use this model. And mainly if you're a developer, I would say, try fine tuning this model. I might put out a separate tutorial on how you can fine tune the model. So they've got a demo where they're using transformer.js, which will download the model locally in Wasm WebAssembly language. And then you can run this model. So as you can see here, this has been downloaded. I'm going to switch off my internet just, just to show you like this can work without internet. I'm going to go here and then open uh, Hacker News and it won't work. I can just play the dino game. So I'm going to go back here. I've already run uh, downloaded the model. So you can see here, I've already downloaded the model. I'm going to select a bunch of characters. I'm going to select a sleepy astronaut and uh, under the sea, um, fairy tale short, make my story. And the moment I click make my story, you can see the story is being populated here. And uh, you know, you would see a coherent story. I mean, it's not a story that that's going to win. I don't know what kind of award like Pulitzer, M Emmys, Emma. I don't know what kind of awards you have got. But the point here is that a 270 million parameter model that runs locally within your browser without even having to have internet. Like I still don't have internet as you can see here. I'm not like kidding. 
I can play Dino again. So this is a really good model for a specific task. And I don't think this is even fine tuned in this particular case. You can just go ahead and then start using the model for a specific task. And in my phone demo, the model actually has done a decent job, not like a great job, but a decent job. I used Google AI Edge, the gallery app, and then just downloaded the quantized version model from uh, Hugging Face and then started using the model and it is doing a decent enough job. So let me show you how you can download this model. The first thing that you have to do is you have to say just Olama run Gemma 3 270 million parameter model. The moment you say this, Olama is going to pull the model into your computer so the model is available for you to use it. I'm going to just run this. In my case, the model has been already downloaded so I can just simply go ahead and then chat with the model. Write a short story on Elon Musk falling in love with Martians. This is a 2019 laptop. It's like six years old. I mean, it's not a very bad laptop. I still have got a decent RAM, like 32 GB, but still the speed in which the model generates like coherent text is amazing. Like their friendship blossomed, a testament to the enduring power of human connection, and boundless potential of the universe. So this also being a smaller model, one thing that you have to keep in mind is if you're going to use quantized version, like for example, when I use the same model on my smartphone, it doesn't have the same quality that I can try on Olama. So you might have to keep that in mind, like whenever you are using different quantizations or different versions of the model, it may not be as good as something that you are using without any sort of quantization. This so, so, so like I can ask another question, write a Python program to make a bar chart um, in uh, Seaborn. Definitely not a question that a lot of people are going to ask LLMs. But if you are going to ask LLM, then the model is doing a good enough job. So there is like the markdown tag, then you've got import Seaborn as SNS. And um, where is it making a bar chart? Okay, it's trying to make a bar chart. I hope this code actually works. And um, yeah, that's it. So this is a model that is not going to blow your mind. But this is a model that we all should appreciate Google for releasing and um, I love this model. Um, I'm going to probably have a fine tuning tutorial if you're interested in it. Subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy prompting.